Hey, this is Mr. Ward, and I'm going to do a video key for Do Now 24.2 for Algebra, week 24, day two. So here we go. <clears throat> so apparently you had some impulse buying going on, and you spent $167 on 28 hats one day. The pointy hats that you bought cost $4 each, and the propeller beanies cost $9 each. What are the unknowns here? How... Could, you, could we represent them? Well, the unknowns are how many pointy hats there are and how many propeller beanies there are. So I'm going to say number of pointy hats. Why you're buying pointy hats? I don't know. I can't explain your choices. And the number of propeller beanies. Okay. So... Let's say, let's call X the number of pointy hats, and we'll call Y the number of propeller beanies. Those are, that's, we don't know how many of each of those, those there are. We know you got 28 hats. Some of them were pointy hats, and some of them are propeller beanies. And you know, we spent 600, you know, spent $167. Pointy hats were $4, and propeller beanies were $9. So, in fact, if that's what you came up with, pointy hats and propeller beanies being the unknowns, you're good to go. Now, what are the two equations we've got? Well, we got a couple of totals. We've got 28 hats and we've got $167 that was spent. Okay. Now, the 28 hats comes from the X pointy hats plus Y Propeller beanies. So there are our there's our first equation. We'll call let's call this the simple total equation. And this is a common structure that you're going to run into in systems of equations, uh, word problems. Now we're also going to call this one. The other one's going to be the money equation. <clears throat> okay, could be there's a lot of varieties of this, but we'll call this one the money equation since it's about money. So we know that we're spending $4 for X pointy hats, an equal here so I can separate things. We've got $4 for X pointy hats, and then we've got $9 for Y beanie, propeller beanies. So, and we add that together and we'll get the total amount of money spent. That's $4 times the number of pointy hats will get you how much you spend on those. And $9 times propeller beanies will get you how much you spend on those. And you put it all together. Uh, I didn't tell you anything about buying any other stuff. Um, so that's what you got. Okay, so X plus Y is 28 and 4X plus 9Y is 167. You might have switched the variables up, in which case you could have come up with 4x plus 9y equals 167, where x is, um, <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. I I think I have to edit that. What that's supposed to say is 9x plus 4y. Um, I will edit that. But for right now, know that that's, uh, that's supposed to say 9x and 4y. Okay? So I'll get rid of that and that. Okay, so it's supposed to say that. In this case, X is propeller beanies and Y is pointy hats. Silly me. Okay, let's carry on. I will fix that later. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this Desmos calculator and we're going to graph these two lines. We've got X plus Y equals 28. And we've got 4x plus 9y equals 167. You're like, where's my graph? Well, of course, we can always zoom out on this by hitting them there. It's showing up right there. There's our graph. So the, the red line is our simple total equation, total hats. And our blue equation is how much we spent on hats. Okay. And so we've got an intersection point right there at x is 17, y is 11. So we well, let's plot that, 17, 11. So you just do begin parentheses, you write the X number, you put a comma, you write the Y number, and then you end the parentheses. And then I'm going to label this, and I'm going to use this feature where I can actually give it more than just what it says there. I'm going to say, I'm going to say what it is. It's 17 pointy hats and 11 propeller beanies. 
And that is what that intersection is. That intersection is telling us when X and Y are the same for both equations, that actually gives us our solution to this situation. This is a system of equations, which means it's two or more equations being considered together. And this is a solution, which is this is a pair of X and Y values that make these two equations true. And I'm going to demonstrate that really quickly. Uh, if I do 17 plus 11, I get 28. So that, if X and Y are 17 and 11, respectively, it makes that equation true. And then if I say 4 times 17, which is 68, plus 9 times 11, which would be 99, I get 99 and 68. It all adds up to 167. So these two values make both equations true when you plug them in for x and y. And that is what it means to have a solution to a system of equations. Mechanically, it is where they intersect, but that's not really the meaning. The meaning is that it's a pair of x, y values that makes both or all members of the system true when you replace the variables with the values. All right, so let me copy pasta this little note here, and I'm gonna go back into the do now, and that's what we get. This is what it means. And um, 17, 11 makes both members of this system of equations true. And that is what makes it a solution. Okay. Now, <clears throat> There's another way we could approach this. We could take x plus y equals 28, and we could rearrange it to be x equals 28 minus y. I'll show you how that works. x plus y equals 28. I subtract y from both sides, and I end up with x equals 28 minus y. Oh, that's weird. Minus y. Okay, now I'm going to take my equation... 4x plus 9y equals 167, and I'm going to replace x with 28 minus y. So 4x plus 9y equals 167, and I'll replace x with 28 minus y. Okay, so let's start organizing this. So 4 times 28 is going to be 100. 12, I believe. So 4 times 20 is 80, and 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 80 is 112. And then 4 times minus y is minus 4y plus 9y equals 167. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. So I've got 112, 112, and then negative 4y and 9y makes 5y. And that equals 167. Now I'm going to subtract 112 from both sides. We just have a two-step equation at this point. And I'll be left with 5y equals, okay, 112 taken away from 167. So that's, that's going to be a 5. And then 7 minus 2 is 5. 60 minus 10 is going to be 50. And 100 minus 100 is nothing. So 5y equals 55. I'll divide both sides by 5. And I'm going to scroll down so you can see what the heck I'm doing. And y will equal 11. So now, earlier on, hey, wait a minute. Earlier on, we said there were 11 propeller beanies, that y was 11. So that matches up. How uh, much you want to bet it's going to match up for the other one. So once again, we rearrange things. This time I subtract x from both sides. So I've got x plus y equals 28. Um, I subtract x from both sides. And I get y equals 28 minus x. And now I'm just going to take that equation again for 4x plus 9y equals 28. And I'll replace y with 28 minus x. So 
Now I have just one variable to work with, so that'll make my life a lot easier, okay? And now I'm gonna start simplifying. So 4x plus, okay, let's work out nine times 28. So nine times eight is 72, and nine times 20 is 180. And 180 plus 72 will be 252. You can check me on that if you like. And then 9 times negative x is going to be negative 9x. And then that'll equal 28. And now we, what am I doing? That's not 28. That's 167. Oops, Mr. Ward did a Jimbo mistake. But I caught it. And one of the values of organizing my work in a stack like this is it's easy to see where I made a goof. You may have been wondering, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Ward, wait a minute. You, you oh. And I got it. So there we go. Thank you for that uh, that help, by the way. I appreciate your, your assistance on that. So I'm going to combine my like terms, 4x and negative 9x. That'll get me a negative 5x. So I've got 252 minus 5x equals 167. Now i got to subtract 252 from both sides. Okay. And, you know, when you're subtracting a larger number from a smaller number, uh, it's useful to just uh, treat it as subtracting 252 minus 167, and then it's negative. So I know I'm going to have a negative answer. So let me first drop in the negative 5x. Okay. And let's see. Okay. 2 minus 7. So I'm going to put in a negative. Keep track of that. 2 minus 7. I'll have to borrow from the 5. So that's going to be 12 minus 7, which will be a 5. And then... I borrowed from the five, so that's a four. Four minus six, I'll have to borrow from the two, and that'll make it a 14. 14 minus six is gonna be eight. And I borrowed from the two, so that was a one. So one minus one is just none. So I've got five X, negative five X equals 85. Uh, if you want to, you can just cancel both of those negatives. I'm not going to, uh, but you could. So I'm just gonna say negative five divided by negative five and divided by negative five. And I'll be left with X over here and 85 divided by five is 17. Negative 85 divided by negative five is it's gonna be a positive answer. And X is 17. And that is in fact how many pointy hats we got to begin with. So 17 pointy hats. 11 propeller beanies. Right, I hope that was helpful.